No, no, no. Hi there. Um, I'm from the Freedom Party and we're just going door to door and making sure that people are enrolled to vote. Uh, are you enrolled to vote? You don't want me to vote for you. It's probably not a good look. Your party being associated with people like me. Well, that's just it. We at the Freedom Party have a policy of not turning away any voters for any reason, no matter what. It's easy. All you need to do is just fill out a form and we're good to go. Oh, all right then. Great. Scary movie, huh? Hey? You're watching a scary movie. Oh, the, the moaning. No. No, it's not a movie. Please! I've been here for days! You shut up! Do you understand me? You shut up! Sorry, I've got a prisoner back there. I'm gonna eat him later. I'm a cannibal. Oh, no! Did he just say he was gonna eat me? Yes! I'm gonna eat you, and there's nothing you can do about it, so just shut up already! Can I put my work phone, or do you want my home phone? Yeah, work phone's fine. Hey, person at the door, if you could maybe call the cops or something, that would be really great. Sorry, this must be really awkward for you. Hey, what you do in the privacy of your own home is none of my business. <laughs> you just gotta make sure you vote. Seriously? You're cool with that? Stay out of it! Oh boy, I'd like to live through election day. Doesn't look like I'll last though. Definitely want to vote for you anyway. If your actions today are anything to go by. That's just rude, isn't it? I don't have that. Just give me one second. Oh, no, no, you don't. No. Just give me one second. Why are politicians so desperate to get into government? What is government? What rules do they have to follow? Do they actually have to follow them? Do they really? Do they? Really? How do you get nearly five million New Zealanders to cooperate? You could try a talking stick, but I don't think we'd have time for everyone to have a turn. Luckily, someone figured out another way, a government. And as it turns out, our government works pretty similarly to a lot of other countries around the world, mostly because the British really loved colonising. So, your basic Western society has got three bits. The first bit is made up of the Members of Parliament, or MPs, who write down bills and then vote on whether or not those bills should become laws. They write the rules that everyone is supposed to follow, including how much tax you have to pay, what to spend those tax dollars on, and whether or not you're allowed to do murders. This rule writing bit is called the Legislative. The second bit is all the people who put the rules into action. That's the ministries and departments and public servants. It's all the social workers and the cops and the shiny orange man with the weird punctuation face who tells you to vote. This getting stuff done bit is called the executive. And at the top of the executive is the prime minister and her best friends, the cabinet. How fun. The third bit is the referees who make sure everyone's following all the rules. Okay, so that's the judges and courts and tribunals. They determine whether or not you've broken any rules and how much trouble you're in. The referee bit is called the judiciary. So those are the three main bits of government. They've all got 
complicated names because the whole thing was made up in the past when people had way more time on their hands. The point is, the three bits of government are all supposed to keep tabs on each other. And if any one bit of the government starts doing something dodgy, the other two are supposed to slap it into place. The whole idea is that no one has too much power. And that's important because people can't be trusted. So that's the system we've got. Three totally separate bits of government. Totally separate so nobody has too much power. Com completely and utterly separate. Except not at all. You see, in New Zealand, if you're a minister, you, you get to write the laws and vote on them over in the legislative bit with your legislator hat on, and then you get to walk over to the executive bit and put your executive hat on and, and tell your ministry how you think they should put those laws into practice. So you're part of both bits. They're not separate at all. So hopefully, no minister ever finds out about that. And, and if, you're, if you're a minister and you've just found out about that. I was kidding and that that's not true. It's not true, it was a joke. It's just a funny joke. Anyway, reigning over all three branches of government is the Queen. Hi Queenie, because of all the colonizing. We don't get to choose the Queen, but every three years we do get to replace all the legislators we don't like. Uh, we do that with a form of democracy called MMP. I'll tell you what it stands for, but I'm warning you now, it's just not going to be helpful. Ready? MMP stands for Mixed Member Proportional. See? I told you that didn't help at all. Anyway, with MMP you get two votes. You get one vote to choose the politician you'd like to represent your little part of New Zealand, and you also get a party vote. The party vote determines how many seats each party gets in Parliament, and then after the election those parties all try to team up with each other until one group of parties has more than half the seats. At which point, they get to say, Suck on that everyone else, we're the government now! And then they spend the next three years trying to figure out what they actually agree on. So, three bits with only one bit that you vote for, and the whole thing reigned over by an old lady on the opposite side of the world. Those are the basic rules and conventions for how New Zealand's government works. And we have a word for the basic rules and conventions for how a government works because all the basic rules and conventions for how a government works takes too long to say. And that word is constitution. New Zealand doesn't have a written down constitution, we just haven't gotten around to putting all the rules into one big list. Instead, our constitution is made up of a bunch of conventions, important laws our parliament has passed, including big ones like the Bill of Rights Act, and also some other laws we inherited from England, like the Magna Carta, which I think has something to do with barons, maybe. One of the most important parts of our constitution is Te Tiriti or Waitangi, the agreement between two peoples to share governance over the land and taonga of the country. And even though it's part of the rules of how our government is supposed to operate, our government hasn't really paid as much attention to the shared governance part as it should have. The bad thing about New Zealand not having a written constitution is that the government could change the rules at any time. But the good thing about not having a written constitution is that the government can change the rules at any time. And we're not tied down to stupid rules written by people who thought it was okay for humans to be slaves. America. Ultimately, people are gonna do what they're gonna do. You know, it's nice to feel like our government has to follow the rules, but they might not. And because all the usual rule enforcers are a part of the government, it's your job to keep an eye on them. And when something goes wrong, or you have an idea for how the rules could be better, you have to speak up. You got this. Well, I hope you do, because it's your job. You're a citizen. Good luck.